We saw the introduction of Samsung's One UI 3.1.1 for the new Z Fold 3, the Z Flip 3, which saw a slew of new software features and optimizations, making the folding screen experience more refined and streamlined for the end user. This left us with questioning whether previous models such as the Fold 1, the Z Fold 2, and the Z Flip would experience and get any of these new software features and optimizations. Looks like Samsung have an answer for our question with One UI 3.1.1 now rolling out to the Z Fold 2 5G, the Z Flip 5G, the Z Flip models from August 31st, and the Galaxy Fold 1, which launched in 2019, set to get the update a week later. Hi. Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy exclusive and new videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on Sam Mobile. Here's our breakdown of the new software features and optimizations for One UI 3.1.1 for Samsung Foldables. You will find drag and split feature not only on the Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3, but also on the Fold 2, Fold 1, the Z Flip, and the Z Flip 5G. Drag and Split works with many of your favorite apps, including Samsung Internet, Samsung Notes, My Files, Messages, Microsoft Office, and more. For example, in Samsung Internet, this feature lets you simply drag a link you want to check to the edge of your screen and open it in a new window. Simply press down on the link you want to open, the drop here to open animation will appear when you drag the link to the edge of your screen. We saw the introduction of labs on the Fold 3 and the Flip 3 in the settings menu under advanced features, enabling better app optimizations that previously needed app extension, good luck to work in the same way. We saw the introduction of labs on the Fold 3, the Flip 3, in the settings menu under advanced features, enabling better app optimizations that previously needed the app extension good lock to work in the same way. With multi-active window and natural window switching, this will be available for the Fold 3, the Fold 2, and the Fold 1. This lets you use up to three apps simultaneously and arrange them in your preferred layout. In One UI 3.1.1, you can also adjust both the height and the width of the app windows to suit your needs. To enable this feature, go to settings, click advanced features, go to labs and click on multi window for all apps. One of the frustrating experiences previously was using a particular app which only works in portrait mode. Continue with the advanced features to software that labs brings to One UI 3.1, rotate all apps just makes rotating your phone and apps much smoother. With the new rotate all apps feature, your apps will smoothly transition to the proper UX to match the portrait or landscape aspect ratio. When the feature is toggled on in labs, even vertically fixed apps can rotate 90 degrees. To enable this feature, go to settings, click advanced features, go to labs, click on auto rotate apps, choose between the two options, keep apps orientation or match phones orientation. Do note this feature is available on the Fold 3, the Fold 2 and Fold 1. In the past, not all apps scaled to the more tablet aspect ratio of the Fold, leaving a far less than full screen experience with black bars on either side, all due to the size of the app being fixed. One UI 3.1.1 now lets you change the size of the app so you can fully immerse yourself with a better full screen experience. To get the most out of Samsung's expansive foldable displays, simply enable this feature in labs. Go to settings, click advanced features, go to labs, click on customize app aspect ratios, click on apps to customize aspect ratios, select on one of the four options, full screen, 16 by nine, four by three, and app default. Do note this feature is available on the Fold 3, the Fold 2, and the Fold 1, with one exception with the four by three aspect ratio, which is not available on the Fold 1. App Split View is a great way of using the large in the display of the Fold series to efficiently take in more information when using an app. When used with messages, App Split View will show your message list on the left and your selected conversation on the right, allowing you to take in more information at a glance. A button at the top of the conversation can be clicked to expand it into a full screen mode. 
for apps that do not come with built-in app split view support, you can enable this function by turning it on in labs. Go to settings, click on advanced features, go to labs, click on app split view, select apps for the split view to enable. Do note this feature is available on the Fold 3, Fold 2 and Fold 1. Taking advantage of the strong and smooth flex hinge, flex mode being one of Samsung's signature foldable features just got more powerful with flex mode panel. For apps that don't typically support flex mode, you can now enable this feature by turning on flex mode panel in labs. Go to settings, click on advanced features, go to labs, select multiple window for all apps to be on, click on flex mode panel, select apps for flex mode panel. This makes it much easier to control media while doing things like watching videos. You'll find this feature available on the Fold 3, Fold 2, Flip 3, and the Z Flip. The introduction of the taskbar on the Fold 3 with One UI 3.1.1 made so much sense in utilizing the larger in the display, saving more time getting to your most used apps with fewer clicks and swipes needed. The taskbar makes it possible for you to switch between apps without returning to the home screen or scrolling through the recent tabs. Taskbar pins the apps to the side of the main screen where edge panel used to be located, giving you instant access to your favorite apps. Simply enable this feature in labs to make your workflow smoother. Go to settings, click on advanced features. Go to labs, select on next to pin your favorite apps. Swipe left on the handle to open up the tray. Tap the grid icon to see all your apps and edit. Tap pin and the taskbar will be pinned on the side of your screen. You'll find this feature available on the Fold 3, the Fold 2, and the Fold 1. One UI 3.1.1 makes transitions between the cover and main screen even more seamless and intuitive. Cover screen mirroring lets you have the exact same setup and layout of the home screen on both the cover and the main screen. To enable this feature, go to settings, select home screen, click on cover screen mirroring. You'll find this feature available on the Fold 3 and the Fold 2. Be sure to visit us at sammobile.com for the latest news daily in the world of Samsung. And for more new videos, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time.